hi welcome back uh, to my channel i haven't posted any video for almost one year now so yeah i was uh, quite busy with other things and uh, you know i didn't feel like uh, investing too much time on the hobby but now fortunately i have uh, more time uh, and a couple of new toys uh, to play with for example this nice oscilloscope that arrived uh, two days ago it is a siglent 200 megahertz uh, oscilloscope so it's the cheapest uh, of Siglent, but uh, I think it's pretty, it's pretty nice, or at least for me, it's quite amazing. Actually, I will, uh, I will do, uh, I think, a couple of videos uh, about it. But in this video, I want to show very quickly something else that I find it, uh, I find uh, pretty cool. So um, here you can see, as usual, uh, uh, here the display of my spectrum analyzer, the HP uh, 8591E and uh, at the moment it is set as you can see at the center frequency of uh, 30 megahertz with a span of just one kilohertz and in this setting the spectrum analyzer has a resolution bandwidth of just uh, 30 hertz and this means that it is at uh, the most uh, it's uh, as sensitive sensitive as uh, it can be and as you can see here the the, um, the noise level that we have uh, with these settings is about uh, uh, minus 130 uh, dBm okay um, right so that's the maximum basically that the, the spectrum analyzer can see and of course signals that are weaker than that cannot uh, be seen uh, of course one solution uh, is to use amplifiers so I already made a couple of videos on uh, amplifiers specifically on this amplifier here um, but I bought a new one this uh, amplifier here is uh, I bought it for about uh, 20 euros on, uh, on eBay and uh, it is a um, mini circuit uh, uh, ZFL 1000 so it's a pretty nice from 100 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz um, so it is pretty wide bandwidth and it is amazingly low noise so only 2.9 dB of noise and it has a 20 dB of uh, amplification so it's I think uh, it's pretty nice and I'm going to play a little bit uh, with it and um, so now I'm going to test it uh, uh, to see if this can indeed uh, improve the performance of uh, the spectrum analyzer and by the way uh, very similarly would improve the performance of a radio of a receiver for instance um, so I'm going to generate a signal here a, a very weak signal and I'm going to make even more weaker uh, by means of attenuators so here I have a first uh, attenuator set at the moment of at uh, minus 40 dBm uh, uh, sorry dB of attenuation and here I have three more attenuators 20 dB 20 dB and 30 so this makes a uh, minus 110 uh, dB of attenuation and uh, the signal I'm going to generate there is only minus 20 dBm so in total I will generate it, uh, generate a minus 130 dBm signal which is pretty much at uh, the current level of the noise floor of the spectrum analyzer but I will amplify it using this new amplifier and beside this uh, I will send the output of uh, the first stage of amplification to my uh, HP amplifier and then the result will go inside uh, the spectrum analyzer okay so I I'm just going now to instruct the spectrum analyzer that there is uh, an external amplification of 60 dB uh, so 20 plus 40 uh, so let me do that okay and then I'm going to turn on uh, uh, the amplifiers so this here and the mini circuit I just uh, turned on the, the power supply there it works at uh, 15 dB so as you can see and it consumes about 200 um, 200 milliampere um, all right um, so as you can see the noise floor has gone down uh, significantly now we are basically at uh, m minus 150 right uh, so we improved the situation by about 20 dB which is uh, quite amazing and um, so let me now turn on the, the signal so to see if uh, we can we can uh, see it uh, let's see and indeed it's there so if I do a peak search is telling me exactly that we are at uh, uh, 30 megahertz at uh, minus 130 um, dBm more or less uh, actually very, it's very precise the measurement so in fact I checked all these attenuators are very precise 
and so it's pretty cool really uh, the sensitivity of uh, the spectrum analyzer gone that has gone um, up a lot if I moreover introduce some uh, averaging so to reduce further the, the noise uh, you will see even a clearer uh, shape uh, of the signal that we have so as you can see it's quite above the, the noise floor um, so it's pretty cool um, yeah so I'm very happy about this uh, little amplifier for 20 euros this is a very much wide uh, I mean a lot of the bandwidth is very wide <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say and uh, the combined with uh, this uh, um, amplifier here uh, yeah let me check if I can show you what is now the um, so the noise of the spectrum analyzer so let me put it there as you can see is a uh, minus uh, 167 uh, dBm so it's incredibly it's incredibly low really uh, per hertz, I mean, uh, so that's the, the typical measurement for the noise. Um, and uh, yeah, just consider the thermal noise. So the noise that is uh, unavoidable is uh, minus 173. So we are just above uh, the uh, the noise. Uh, I mean, the thermal noise level. And indeed, this is uh, uh, thanks to the fact that this um, amplifier is such low noise; is only 2.9 that allows uh, this type of uh, performance. So anyway, I'm very happy about that. Here on the, on the oscilloscope, I am actually checking out the noise of the of the power supply, and it's very very minimal. I'm very happy about that power supply as well. So anyway, f it is nice to to finally make a new video, and uh, I will probably do more experiments in the next uh, few months. Okay, bye bye. See you next time.